everyone. Today I've put my woolly hat on because I'm going to read you a story from a very cold place. It's called Cuddly Dudley. And can you see what Dudley is? Is he a monkey? Is he a tiger? No, he's a penguin. So let's find out what Dudley's been up to, shall we? Here we are. Dudley loved to play. He loved to play jumping and diving. And look, he's gone splash into the water. He loved to play all by himself. Oh, that wasn't what I expected at all. The trouble was, Dudley was such a lovely, cuddly penguin that whenever his brothers and sisters found him on his own, guess what they wanted to do? They just couldn't resist having a huddle and a waddle and a cuddle with him. Go away, Dudley would say. Leave me alone. We can't, came the reply. You're just too cuddly, Dudley. <laughs> I'm fed up with all your huddling and waddling and cuddling, said Dudley. One day, I'm going to find a place where I can be all on my own. And off he went. And look, there he goes. He waddled and he toddled for many, many miles until quite by chance he found... What has he found? Can you see? He's found a little wooden house which looked perfect for a penguin and it seemed to be empty. Ooh, looks very nice, doesn't it? At last, said Dudley, a place where I can be on my own, a place where I can jump around all day without being disturbed. And then there was a at the little wooden door. And what kind of face has he got? He's got a shocked face like that, hasn't he? It's us, said two of Dudley's sisters. We followed, followed your waddle prints. Can we come in? No, you jolly well can't, said Dudley. I'm very busy and I don't want to be disturbed. So please go away. And he shut the door and, he, and what, uh, was alone once more. Oh dear, that's not very friendly, is it? At last, said Dudley, a place of my own. A place where I can splash all day without being... There was another knock at the door. Believe it, can it? I guess who it was? It was his brothers and his sisters. We followed your waddle prints. Can we come in and? and? What do you think Dudley said? No, you jolly well can't. I don't want to huddle and waddle and cuddle. So for the very last time, stop following me around. And he slammed the little wooden door and was alone once more. At last, said Dudley, a house of my own. <laughs> Gosh, that does it, he says, when I catch those penguins all. But it wasn't the penguin at the little wooden door. Who was it? It was a great big man. My word, said the great big man, what an adorable penguin. And guess what he wanted to do? He said, give us a cuddle. And he chased Dudley all around, out into the snow. Dudley ran and ran and escaped from the man. Then he decided to head back home. But it was a long way. 
crunch, crunch, crunch went Dudley, looking for some waddle prints to follow. But night came and he was all alone and completely lost. And now, for the very first time, how do you think he felt? He felt lonely. He climbed a hill to get a better view. And at the top, he saw an enormous, what's this? An enormous orange moon with hundreds of tiny sparkling stars all around. Excuse me, said a penguin from the foot of the hill. Have you finished being alone? Only we wondered now that you're back, if you wouldn't mind if we could. It's just you're so, so cuddly, shouted Dudley. And he bounced down the hill as fast as he could. And then Dudley and all his brothers and sisters had the best huddling and waddling session they ever had until give us a cuddle in come the man he's running he wants to give them all a big cuddle so give yourself a cuddle and then maybe go and find someone in your house to give a cuddle